Members of the Senate resumed on Tuesday debating the draft law of finance for 2021. The debate was marked by the interventions of those who hate the measures presented in the draft bill, while others criticized some sections, deeming them not having the interest of citizens at heart. Some deputies pinpointed the fact that the new law lacked provisions that would promote an economy freed of its reliance on oil and gas. The recent decrease of value of the Algerian dinar vis-à-vis -vis the U.S. dollar represented an indirect tax that citizens will have to pay. They stress that such loss in value shall lead to a surge in prices of consumer goods, and thus lowering the purchasing power of middle-class citizens. In the same context, certain senators deplored the decrease in the share of the budget which was amounted to 4% that was intended for the health sector during the ongoing COVID-19 health crisis. Many speakers also raised the issues about the availability of cash at post offices, which was reported recently, as well as the growing problems of the informal market phenomenon, which weakens the national economy, while others stress the need to improve the social and professional insertion of contracted employees and their integration. Prime Minister Abdelaziz Jarad chaired on Tuesday a meeting via video conference with governors, along several ministers who took part to the meeting, namely the ministers of Interior, Agriculture, Health, and national education. This meeting was first devoted to assessing the measures implemented to fight the COVID-19 pandemic as well as to strengthen hospitals' capacity to receive more patients. In the same context, a review was done of the current health situation in schools. A presentation was made of the follow-up system implemented by the Ministry of National Education with an assessment of needs in means of protection and disinfection. The meeting then further reviewed the specific and operational arrangements implemented by the governors in coordination with the concerned bodies to secure water supply nationwide in order to remedy to the shortage of rainfalls following the drought the country is enduring. The current status of flood prevention systems was also presented along actions to implement as soon as possible in the coming fall or winter seasons. At the end of the meeting, the Prime Minister instructed governors to step up their vigilance to remedy to the recent upsurge of COVID-19 infections while focusing their efforts on improving healthcare support of patients. The Prime Minister also gave further instructions to ensure the mobilization of control teams comprising national education inspectors and personnel in order to carry out strict checks about the compliance with health measures in schools. Abdelaziz Jarad also requested from governors to further involve parents' associations in the follow-up efforts of the health situation in schools to better mobilize awareness raising and communication efforts. On another plan, the Prime Minister also gave instructions to governors to take all actions necessary to improve the citizens' supply in water, especially in grey zones, by reviewing all new requests to drill more water wells, including for agricultural purposes. Finally, Prime Minister highlighted the importance of maintaining all communication and awareness raising actions intended for citizens, especially about the ongoing necessary compliance with protective and preventive health measures. Foreign Affairs Minister Sabri Bukadum addressed a congratulation message to Anthony Blinken for his nomination as U.S. State Secretary by the U.S. elect President Joe Biden. Bukadum wished his counterpart success and assured him of his personal commitment to build better relations between the United States of America and Algeria. The Polisario Front mission to the United Nations criticized the UN's inaction vis-à-vis -vis the Moroccan aggression in El Gargarat region, affirming that the Sahrawi authorities had no other choice but to exercise their right to self-defense and use all legitimate means to defend the Sahrawi territory against Moroccan aggression. The mission criticized the fact that a week after the Moroccan aggression in El Gargarat region, no action was taken by the UN General Secretariat or the Secretary Council to hold Morocco accountable for the consequences of its aggression. The conflict of Western Sahara was also at the heart of the interview which brought together the Mauritanian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ismail Wild Sheikh Ahmed, and his Sahrawi counterpart, Mohamed Salim Uld Salik. During this interview, the two officials addressed in particular the latest developments in the situation in El Gargarat region. 
plate Abd Rashid Bukirzaza, former Minister of Communication, was buried Tuesday at Garidi Cemetery in Kuba municipality here in Algiers. The funeral ceremony took place in the presence of the Minister of Communication, spokesman of the government, Amar Belhamar, and Abdul Hafid Alahum, advisor to the President of the Republic in charge of foreign affairs, and Nazih Baramdan, the advisor to the President of the Republic in charge of the associative movement and the national community settled abroad, as well as the general director of the state television. The Algerian Company for the Production of Mercedes-Benz Heavy Duty Vehicles by the Directorate of Mechanical Military Industries under the National Defense Ministry proceeded on Tuesday to the delivery of 389 multifunction trucks and buses for 16 military and public and private civil institutions. This came under the framework of meeting the needs of the structures of the Ministry of National Defense and the various national, state and private companies and under the direct supervision of the Military Industrialization Directorate. It's worth recalling that, despite the current health situation, workers and managers were able to meet the challenge by fulfilling the demand of our economic partners, and this delivery came within the framework of the guidelines of the National People's Army for the manufacture and marketing of local products of international quality with original spare parts and after sales services. This process is part of the development of the various military industries, in particular the mechanical industry, in light of the strategy adopted by National Ministry of Defense with the different structures and companies involved. 1,133 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 15 deaths were announced on November 24th by the spokesman of the scientific committee in charge of monitoring the evolution of the pandemic, Professor Jamal Furar. In terms of treatment, the total number of cured patients over the past 24 hours continues rising to reach 50,070. 649 patients recovered, while 37 are still in intensive care in the past 24 hours. Mr. Forar said there were no reports of new cases in 12 provinces. He added that 24 provinces recorded between 1 and 9 cases, and 22 provinces registered more than 10 cases. Professor Forar recalled the need to observe healthy measures, notably wearing of face masks and respecting social distancing. On your own or with friends, about 50 road trip enthusiasts came from several northern provinces to enjoy an outstanding travel experience on the beautiful roads and tracks of the Algerian Sahara. Our objective is to promote Saharan tourism. Every end of the year, we organize several road trips in the Algerian south. After a well-deserved bivouac, experienced bikers take their rides, driving kilometers of sand and enjoying breathtaking landscapes. It is important to know that autumn and winter are the ideal season to ride your bike or your car, so do not hesitate to come in these wide open spaces to enjoy a mild climate and live one of the most exceptional experiences that can exist.